Today I want to talk to you about what cerebral palsy is and how exercise can have a really positive effect on this condition. So cerebral palsy is a neurological and developmental condition that occurs when there is damage to the brain during those really early stages of brain development. So cerebral means brain and palsy means weakened or lack of control of muscles. So we're looking at muscular strength and ability to really control our muscles properly. So some really common side uh, sort of noticeable changes when somebody has cerebral palsy include low muscle tone, an altered gait, uh, low muscular contraction or ability to control those muscles, seizures, uh, so anything where you can really see that somebody struggled to properly control how a muscle is working within their body. Now, how exercise can help? Well, we know that there's research to support a really strong link between exercise and benefits with cerebral palsy. So when we prescribe exercise, we can look at how well we can mobilize an area. So we can look at our mobility and our flexibility within a joint. And we can also look to improve muscular strength and endurance. So there are many different ways that we can do this, but when we're prescribing an exercise program for somebody with cerebral palsy, we like to look at balance, flexibility, and muscular strength. But just with any exercise program, we can't forget the cardiovascular side of things as well. So it generally looks like a program similar to most. However, we do have a strong bias towards that balance and control side of things with the uh, muscles. So if you're somebody with cerebral palsy and you don't feel confident to get out into an exercise setting, remember, just like anybody, exercise is a vital component of long-term health function and independence, so it's really important that you start somewhere. Exercise doesn't have to be an intense, complicated set of movements. It can be as simple as it needs to be, and even 10 minutes is better than nothing. So remember, exercise is vital for somebody with cerebral palsy. We're looking at mobility, balance, strength, and cardiovascular health, and we can make it as simple as it needs to be to ensure that you start to see some benefits and that you're able to carry out that exercise program.